Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review for the Patrick Swayze Marathon. And this time it is Dirty Dancing. Uh, thanks goes out to Perry Fan for sending me some of this stuff. And I just realized this is the first time I've seen this film all the way through. I did not grow up with this film. Swayze films I grew up with would be Ghost uncommon valor uh, those were the the top two Swayze films I grew up with Red, Red Dawn as well those three but this one I had seen bits and pieces I knew of the soundtrack but I had never seen the film all the way through and overall I liked it I thought it was a pretty decent flick uh, I know that these two did not get along, at least at first they didn't get along during the making of the film. I don't know by the end of it, but you couldn't tell from the movie. They, I mean, you, yeah, at the beginning they're supposed to have friction, but by the end they looked like they loved each other. So, uh, you know, they both did a great job. They both have worked together on Red Dawn. And it's Red Dawn. I, for some reason I keep wanting to say Red Heat. I don't know why. But Red Dawn. And pretty much this takes place. I'm trying to think like in the 60s. I think like 1963. A Jennifer Grey and her family. Her father, her mother and older sister. They go up to the Catskills. Her father is played by Jerry Orbach. Who I remember from the Steam Zadol film Out for Justice. And pretty much, you know, he's a rich doctor and they're messing around in there. And one thing Lisa and Ellen, she's taken to these secret dirty dancing parties. And dirty dancing is pretty much, you look like you're ready to hump while dancing or dancing and humping or both. I mean, that's what it looks like. And 10 seconds later, pants are going to be pulled down, underwear is going to be over your head, and bing, bang, boom, it's the horizontal mumbo. But it doesn't go that far. Nowadays, there'd probably be a triple X parody and it wouldn't go that far, but not in this movie. Uh, and you have first Swayze doesn't like Jennifer Grey, just thinks, oh, well, you're just, just a rich girl who's, you know, did everything you need. Uh, Swayze's character helps out this girl who's pregnant. Uh, and she was. Patrick Swayze's dance partner, but he needs another partner, so Jennifer Grey takes her place. And the chapter of the film is Swayze teaching Jennifer Grey. They fall for each other. And you really see the love build up. And I thought that was well done. I thought both actors did a good job. Great soundtrack. I mean, whether it be Hungry Eyes, whether it be, of course, Hat the time of my life and I owe it all to you I've had the time of my life one thing that was a bit weird maybe can someone point this out to me is Jennifer Grey's character 17 years old for some reason I I thought she was supposed to be 17. And if that's the case, it's a bit weird because Swayze's character has sex with her. So I'm like, did Swayze just have sex with an underage girl? So is technically Swayze's character a pedophile? I mean, I f maybe I'm wrong, but for some reason I thought that Swayze... Uh, for some reason I thought Jennifer Grace's character was like supposed to be 17. Maybe I'm wrong, but you guys can let me know on that because I'm a bit confused about that. It's a nice romance, but I'm like, am I watching technically a pedophile romance? Maybe that's not the case, and this whole side quest was pointless, but I'm just curious. But I mean, there's some nice sequences, like they're both balancing on this tree log, and you know, Jennifer Grey learning how to dance. Uh, they're like doing the seduction dance while they're lip syncing to this song called Baby. Uh, 
And of course, you have the ending where you know Swayze goes, nobody puts baby in a corner because that's Jennifer Grace did name his baby. Nobody puts baby in a corner. And pretty much gives Jerry, or Jerry Orbach's respect. Uh, Jennifer Grey even mentions. No, uh, Swayze mentions that Jennifer Grey, you know, she taught me that there are people who stand up for other people no matter the cost. Because Jennifer Grey was sticking up and wanting to be with Swayze even though the parents didn't want it. And it seemed like they were ready to shut her out. And she fought for Swayze and vice versa. And they have the great dance at the end to I've had the time of my life. Really good dance work. I gotta say the real the the work and training paid off. I wouldn't know the first damn thing about dancing, so that worked out very well. I think what made this film work and why it was such a big su success are three things. The despite the fact they didn't like each other at least at the beginning the chemistry between these two the chemistry between the two the fun energetic dancing sequences and the soundtrack I think those are the three main points that made this film such a success and all three things worked very well One guy I recognize who's sort of the, the head guy at this I forget what the hell it was like this resort in the cat steals I swear he I've seen him before I don't know if he was the bad guy in Rad or the bad guy in The Dirt by Tid maybe it's the same guy I can't remember but it's like this older balding guy I could be wrong on that, but and this movie was a gargantuan surprise hit. I mean, no one expected this film to be so humongous. <laughs> I mean, do I have any problems with the film? I mean, not really. It's is that the type of film I would go out and search out for anytime? Like repeated times. Uh, even like compared to Ghost. I would put Ghost above this. Because Ghost. Uh, I don't Ghost is a bit more my movie. Than Dirty Dancing. I can't really put into words why. But this is still a good. Decent watch. For those reasons I mentioned. Like the. Like I said, the the chemistry between the two, the love between the the two, you know, the seduction dancing, like this scene here. Like I said the the great soundtrack and the well choreographed dance sequences. And you know, I just see why the film was so popular. Again, I don't really have any. I didn't grow up with the film. Technically, this is the first time I've seen it all the way through. But I mean, I. Yeah, I would put Uncommon Valor, Roadhouse, Red Dawn, Ghost above this, but it's still a good flick. And, you know, I'm not really the type of guy that usually goes out to see dance movies, but this is, this is a good one. I, th I know there's like a sequel, was it like Dirty Dance and Havana Nights? I think Swayze like made a cameo in that or something. Could be wrong on that. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary Blu-ray. It's nice that you get some interviews with Patrick Swayze before he passed away. Outtaste deleted scenes. Commentaries, music videos. I didn't listen to the commentaries. Interview with the writer Eleanor Bergstein. Little interview with Jennifer Grey. 
that's the thing with Jennifer Grey that her career pretty much got fucked up because she changed her face. She fixed her nose to the point she became unrecognizable and people didn't know who she was. I don't. I never thought she looked bad in the first place. That's why I don't get why she quote fixed her nose. I always thought she looked fine because I remember from Red Dawn and uh, Blue, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And yeah, I always thought she looked fine to me. So I don't know why. Maybe a lot of people gave her crap for it, and I don't know. I mean, I guess it didn't bother her. But, uh, I mean, not being recognized anymore. But, uh, yeah, I mean, she looks fine after, too. I mean, I'm not saying she looks ugly. She looks fine, too. I'm just saying she didn't need to do that. I mean, that's just me, though, I guess. I'm not sure what else I could say about it. I mean, the movie kind of speaks for itself, and... Most people have either seen the film or watched the film and they already have their own opinions on it. Uh, not sure what I can add to a film that was as popular as Dirty Dancing. It's not like it's some unknown film. What is this movie? What is the Dirty Dancing? You know, the scene where she jumps up and Swayze holds her while the music's playing. Time of your life. Yeah, good flick. So, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.